so it's almost eight o'clock. I was working all day. I had 10 days straight of work. So, so I just popped a Bunnings and I got some more of the pinch weld with the side seal. So I did the back door yesterday and that was amazing. So I'm gonna do, put that on both the front doors and the one on the third door has a few holes in the side seal. So I'm gonna try and replace some of them and then fill in that little gap at the back. Huh. I went and bought a jigsaw. It was like 30 bucks from Bunnings. So I'm gonna finish one of the back, like the first back by a piece of ply that's gonna go as the base. I want the table to be stable, you know, and I want it to last. We were trying to figure out the best way to screw the, all the screws or the bolt into the steel. And I looked and looked and looked on the Trick Carry of Australia's page. I couldn't really see how anyone else had attached them. I know some people said pop rivet. There was a couple of others that said like screws. And I did some research and so did my dad and we got this. By the way, my dad lives in state well he doesn't he works interstate but now he's stuck so he can't come home across the border poor guy had like eight missed calls <laughs> not missed he did answer every single one to help me so we got this from what I can tell you put the rivet into the steel hole and then you use the rivet gun to press it and it slams it together almost like shrinks it and then you've got a thread I got a nine mil drill bit which is interesting the bloke explained it to me it has like a bit of obviously edging of the steel so it fits it'll fit a bit got some m6 bolts countersunk heads because I want them to be flat goes like that it'll go flat these are stainless steel marine grade so they're 25 mil I've got 12 of them four eight twelve it was a mission let me tell you i literally have been at bunnings i reckon for the last three hours most exciting thing i got this big bit of ply so it's 2.4 long by 1.2 now the truth is 1.4 wide so yeah it'll go flush against there and i'll cut it and then we'll just slot in the other pieces because you won't really see them but i just want like a level floor to start with not going to connect it to the floor or anything i'm just going to have it as a floating floor so i've re-measured it that little line there is how much more i've got to cut off and i'm not sanding it all off so up around here and then down <laughs> So satisfying. I've just finished the pinch welds, both the doors, which was necessary. I've just got to cut the excess off the passenger door and then I'll use that to fill in the gap at the back. Oh, that was an effort. Well worth it. Highly recommend. Right, so it's proper dark and I've decided I'm going to take these out. I don't know what they're from. Just trying to decide about the windows. Look how dirty they are. Taking all the side panels off. There is so much room in there. Man, you could fit like a whole shelf in there. I'm trying to think how I can utilize all this room. Now, you know, all I want to do is just get that stuff from car builders and sound dead and the whole thing. <laughs> all right, I'm tapping out for the night. Mashed out a lot. <gasps> Yeah, knowing me, I'll drive around like this for the next 10 days until I actually get it together. It's a lot to do. Maybe I should invest in that car builder stuff. It's more likely going to be worth. I'm going to go park this bad boy. I'm going to go to bed. What's cracking? So it's Friday. I'm going to finish the back one. So I'm going to use a jigsaw and cut it out and then hopefully measure up them and put the pop rivets in and then measure up on the wood and maybe draw some holes or cut out the second one. I haven't decided yet. I'll show you what I do and then hopefully tomorrow or Sunday morning I will try and do, I want to try and get the back done and then start. I took photos on my Instagram instead of here. Basically, I did the exact same thing, but it took me about 10 minutes instead of like three hours. The top one, that's the first one. It's the second one. We'll drop down. I've got hinges to go in there. Yay! I'm proud of myself. So, I'm going to put these little drill into these holes so it comes with obviously this tool which is obviously the riveter thing the m6 m5 m4 and m3 so we use these bad boys oh okay so that's what it looks like now when it's out i shouldn't have used the big one because i've only got a couple of them but that's okay i might drill some holes into the troop and make sure it, they're gonna fit i'm a bit nervous i've got the drill the nine mil drill bit oh i'm not gonna film this this is too scary <laughs> It 
bits in. So I put all of the top, all of the ones that the Troopy has, I've put in because I don't trust myself. How's that? Bloody wonderful. So next step is I'm gonna lay, I think that out on here, drill some holes in this bottom one and then see if I can put it on and then see how we go from there. Probably wasn't the best option, but oh well, I'll learn from this now. Thing I've got to put some sisal rope in. I decided to go the sisal rope because I put it up on my Instagram and everyone said grow a chain, but the chain's gonna be noisy for one and two, it won't go flat. Whereas with the rope, I'll show you what I can do with it. And the other thing was as well, oh, the sisal rope can hold up to 100 kilos, whereas the chain could only hold up to 11 kilos. Not that I would put 100 kilos. I've drilled, the rope is 10 mil. I lined them all up and drilled 10 mil holes very very tight which is good what I'm gonna do is so then eventually it can just well actually it'll go the other way so to fold it up obviously off I mean it fits fairly flat or I can pull it all the way through and then when it comes down it can pull through and then hold there which will probably work. The only thing I'm thinking of doing, because otherwise there's quite a fair big gap there. Oh, I suppose that wouldn't really rattle, would it? I might secure the rope down here. I've got to have some way to secure it so it's not gonna, you know. I'll work with this, I think. But I just wanted to explain what I'd done first. And that's my table done. Put it up on the back of the troop. <laughs> of my life trying to finish this but I did it and I'm so proud of it so we have it done and then ta-da it's got a little I mean it's super basic but <laughs> I love it what do you reckon I think I nailed it I've got my tea towels hanging down there proud of myself <laughs> So I've added these little things in so and I'm gonna whitewash this decided so I've got them so now I just need to figure out where to secure these little things too, maybe in there. So it's done, it's complete. But I've just got to get some stuff to bog some of these holes. Check that one, it's a beauty. Comes up. I mean, this is all temporary, but it's in and it's done. How good. I should probably check that the door shuts too. Oh man, imagine that. <laughs> oh, amazing. 
So the next thing I'm going to do, I bought this piece of big ply. Obviously, it doesn't fit all the way across. This long piece, because this will go to the door. This is for the third door, so I want this piece to be flush. And then on that side, I'm just going to fill in the gap. There really isn't a lot. Like, there's a couple of centimetres. So I'm just going to cut out that side and slot it in. I'm going to have to take a bit off here because it will not fit in the troopy otherwise. But it was a lot. It was really heavy. It was like 80 bucks to or 60 bucks. So I'm not really in the best position for that. But I'm just gonna have to measure from here to here. I just had to switch from my phone because my camera battery died. We've got so much done today. The fridge is gonna be here. There'll be a slight gap. There's gonna be a table with storage, battery power, battery pack, electronics, all that sort of thing is gonna be in a storage box here. There'll be a pathway from here to here. So up until this point, that will be a full length couch or seat that goes all the way along to here and across and it will be up 30 centimeters so these will be boxed in so it'll have a full length storage box here and then another one straight behind the seat area this will be a big storage with a lift up lid these ones will all be able to lift up as well i think i'll use that oh this back one here just for like little bits and pieces I haven't entirely picked yet. I'm gonna go to Bunnings now and get some timber pine, make the frame. I'm gonna split it with this section is one. This section will be one. And then this section here will be one as well, only because I'm not clever enough to put it all together. I'll do this section first and I'll build it up basically so it can be picked up and removed. Oh, and I'm getting some ply to do these and that is tomorrow's job to clean out and put the new things back on. Got a bit to do. I need one big sheet of six mil ply for the walls. Oh, I'm gonna have to decide, aren't I? Eight meters of ply for the frame itself and then I've just gotta face it with something. Whether I face it with that 12 mil, I don't know, maybe I'll just have to play it by ear and see what happens. Tomorrow will be a whole new day. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I know, I thought it might give it a bit of a look and now I'm like, oh, should I just paint over these? But I'll think I'll leave this 